entertainment will be transformed. In our first episode, we talked a little bit about the movieverse interpretation of Shockwave, but I left out some important info, so allow me to clarify. Shockwave barely showed up in the movie, and when he did, he barely did anything, but looked scary and intimidating. Later on, he was attacked by the humans, and killed by Optimus Prime in a short amount of time. And he was also plastered everywhere in terms of movie propaganda. Posters, comics, he even had his own fight scene in a commercial for the return of Burger King's Bacon Cheddar Ranch Tender Crisp, but the scene was later changed to the fight between Optimus Prime and Sentinel Prime. Now let's talk about our favorite cop-themed Decepticon, Barricade. Barricade was first introduced into the movies as an antagonist and a reconnaissance operative who was to help find the location of Captain Archibald Whitwicky's glasses to locate the Allspark. Later in the movie, Barricade was introduced to Sam and tried to interrogate him about said glasses while also making use of the boy's username. It then progressed to a small brawl between our favorite Autobot Scout and the Recon operative, but then cut to Pantless Sam fighting Frenzy. Real nice. Near the end of the fight, Barricade was heavily wounded and B and the humans went off. But near the end of the final act, Barricade showed up yet again and then... vanished. So what happened? Did he die off screen? Did he just bail out? Well, the comic adaptation of the movie shows a panel with Optimus Prime taking out Barricade. But in the comic Reign of Starscream, it shows Ironhide making him crash into a pillar of a bridge and Starscream checking on him. And in the graphic novel Battle for the Allspark, Barricade was dead but then brought back to life as an Allspark mutation. In the Revenge of the Fallen prequel Alliance, Barricade was also seen in a panel sending a message to the other Decepticons, and thus starting the never-ending battle on our planet. But in Revenge of the Fallen, he was nowhere. Just gone. Fans rumored him dead, or cast off into the abyss of misfit Transformers characters. Credit to Cyborg Raptor for that name. But the most shocking thing happened. In 2011, Barricade came back! He was seen a little bit in the film, disciplining soldiers who failed to do their job, and then getting taken out by humans. Or so we thought. Because during promotion for Transformers The Last Night, Barricade came back again, but with a design heavily inspired to that of Bumblebee from Age of Extinction. So where does the wasted potential begin? Well, at the beginning, the 2007 movie. Barricade had the potential to be a pretty cool, if not badass, Decepticon, but they never went anywhere with his actual personality like that of Shockwave or 90% of the Decepticons in these films. All we know is he's loyal to Lord Megatron, and that he'll try and get the job done. Nothing else was looked into him. He was just there to be... a Vicon. A mindless machine meant to do nothing else but follow orders. I still enjoy Barricade because he also could have been a pretty cool rival for Bumblebee, but even then, that was a waste of time because we don't know why they be rivals except for the fact that one is an Autobot and the other is a Decepticon. And one last thing to point out. Barricade is a literal running gag. He shows up in the first movie, disappears in the second, comes back in the third, goes away for the 4th, and then returns for the 5th. Here's hoping he shows up in TF7, huh? All in all, Barricade isn't a bad character, but he isn't a good one either. So much could have been done to him, but in the end, our favorite bad cop is a wasted one. What do you think? Do you agree with me? Leave a comment down in the comment section down below to start a nice little conversation. And if you want to learn more about the movieverse interpretation of Barricade, Educate yourself. Visit tfwiki.net for more information. And stay tuned for the next episode, where we talk about a con who was inspired by Bumblebee, but better in every way.